What's going on guys, Matt McCoy, Acoustic Selection. Hope y'all doing well. It's been a while since I've talked about this years actually, so let's return back to the very, very basics. If you're new to guitar, maybe this can help you. If, you. if you've been around a while, you probably know this, but let's first talk about the string names. This is super important if you're first starting out. E, it's a low E. A, D, G, B, and a high E. So remember the top string is a low E, the bottom string is a high E. Remember, Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. So that's first off, <coughs> you don't always have to know that, but that's just good to know. Remember, each of these squares is called a fret, and the string names are Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. E A D G B E. Also, it's important to know the bottom string is string number one. So somebody says the first string, that's the bottom string. Second string is second up. Third, fourth, fifth. The top string is the sixth string. So people might think you count down. You start from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So remember, so if we're talking about, if we say the sixth string, second fret, remember the top string, sixth fret. Each of these squares, I mean, the top string is the sixth string. Each of these squares is called a fret. So you'd press the second you press on that string in the second fret. If I said the first string, first fret, it's right here. You press that first bottom string on the first square. If you say open string, that's play it without pressing anything. So if you see a string played open, you hear the term open, that's just play it like this. So real fast too, as far as reading chord charts, I have an example here. This is the C chord that I play. It's actually a C at nine, but I call it a C chord. You'll see here, so these are the fret. Wherever it says C is the name of the chord, you see these. And then this is the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and so forth. You also notice a little X here. That means you don't play that string. So for example, on this C chord, you start at the fifth string and strum down from the fifth string. You would not play at all. Anytime you play a C chord, you don't play that top string. So you start, so that's important to know if you're a beginner, you don't always strum all the strings. There's a certain amount of strings you press and play based on that chord. So, and then these little numbers you see, that's your finger. For example, in your hand, this is number one, this is number two, number three, number four. Your pinky finger is your fourth finger, your pointer is your first, first, second, third, fourth. So that tells you, <coughs> excuse me, kind of, you'd put second fret, remember fourth string, one, two, three, four, would be your first finger. So for example, that would be here. On the second, on the third fret, you see the second finger would be right there. And then you put the third finger on the bottom, I mean the second string, third fret, fourth finger, pinky finger, the bottom string. So that right there is that chord. That makes sense? And remember, you don't strum that top string, you're strumming the bottom five. So this is, that's, that's one of the, in the Matt McQuay four chords, that's a C chord, the C at nine, right there. So the main four chords that I play, almost every song I play with, are these. G, C, E minor, and D. So if you want a little quiz, a little trivia, I'll put the chords up right here, and you can see if you can play those. So that's the G, C, E minor, and D. Remember, on the G and E minor, you strum all six strings. On the C, the bottom five. On the D, the bottom four. Because you see the X, that means don't strum so you can see there on the D chord, you just start at the fourth string and go down. So D chord's there, C chord's here, G chord's here, E minor chord's here. So that's a quick little exercise, like I said, just for beginners, I thought I'd throw out here real fast. That's how to read a chord chart in the, in the string names. Maybe that was important to you, maybe you already know that, but sometimes I gotta review just in case. If you're new to guitar, guys, I'd love for you to check out my beginner guitar course as you play in a song in probably 30 minutes, you can go from knowing nothing to the parts of guitar, strings, frets, first chords, first drumming, until you play that first song. So go check it out at AcousticSelection.com. I've got, I got strumming courses, beginner guitar courses, uh, four chord songbooks. If you just know those four chords, G, C, E minor, and D. Hopefully they can be a blessing to you. So go check it out, AcousticSelection.com. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Love you guys. God bless you.